In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, for whose honor the Bishop St. Stanislaus fell beneath the swords of his persecutors, grant, we pray, that we may persevere strong in faith even until death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all, the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Um, today, in our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, and um, for those who don't know, um, I'm sure our children know some of the, the books of the Bible, right? You guys know the Gospels, the story of Jesus, but there's um, a book after um, the Gospels called the Acts of the Apostles, and this is a book that tells the story of the Apostles, we know the 12 Apostles, right? But also first disciples of Jesus Christ. And this is how, you know, they kind of live out the Christian faith after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And as we um, read through this book, you know, we're going to see some joys um, of, of the apostles, of how they're able to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. But then we also see um, some of its challenges. And today we kind of hear about the challenge of, of how um, 
of how they're preaching the good news of Jesus Christ, but then they're getting some resistance, you know, from the religious leaders of Israel. They're telling them, don't talk about Jesus Christ. Don't talk about his resurrection. And so, you know, they're, they're, um, we see kind of like this resistance, right? And then at the very end of our first reading today, it says, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. And, you know, and, and as we, you know, reflect on those words, we kind of see that the acts of the apostles, they're living, basically, they're following the, puts, the footsteps of Jesus Christ, his life, his suffering, and his death. You know, the apostles, they're living out the life of Christ by following his commandments. And so we're called to ask ourselves, you know, how are we following the commandments of Jesus Christ to love God and to love each other? And then as we, uh, as we hear, you know, they're also living out the death and suffering of Christ. You know, they're, they're going to experience basically their own passion, but in the name of Christ. And so all of us, you know, how are we um, experiencing pain? Maybe how, how are we taking up our crosses in following Christ? You know, sometimes we don't know what our crosses are, but we do have some crosses every now and then. And usually we know our crosses when we experience, you know, something difficult, right? I don't want to do this, but I know that it's good for me to do it because it's going to show me love for the other person. You know, we have lots of, um, you know, people who work, you know, who are at Mass today. And so maybe in their, own, in, in their own work, you know, they see someone struggling. You know, how am I going to help them? How am I going to show them love? We have our first graders today. And, you know, um, you know I'm sure they, they have some struggles in their own life, right? Your parents tell you to, to make your bed, to clean your room. You know, sometimes you don't want to do it, right? But then God is asking us to do it because when we do it, you know, we're showing love, you know, to our parents. We're being this, we're being, we're being obedient towards them. We're showing them love. Or maybe when you're playing with toys at home and you have siblings, you don't really want to share with them because you're having too much fun. But God is calling us to share with them because that's how we can express our love for them. And so, you know, we're called to look at our different situations at class, you know, whether it's in the classroom or recess or lunchtime to see how we can love love the people around us and sometimes to love it can be painful it can be difficult but when we show that love you know we become like those apostles and dis disciples that we hear about and when we're truly trying to uh, live it out you know that's when we become authentic witnesses of the gospel and you know what that means is that you know we're really trying to be like Jesus Christ and, and so today, as we continue to pray, uh, let us pray for each other that we may follow Jesus Christ more closely every moment, every minute, every, every hour of our lives so that we can be closer to him and also closer to each other. As we seek to follow Christ to fullness of life, we turn to him with our prayers and petitions. For all members of the church, may the voice of Christ be our guide and lead us to a deeper faith in him. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who govern, may God grant them the humility to be guided by his word. Let us pray to the Lord. For those burdened by any kind of difficulty, May Christ shine his healing light upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. For this assembly, may God create in each one of us a contrite spirit that is pleasing to him. Let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful departed, may they be crowned with the glory of everlasting life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray in a special way for the living intention of Joe Langford, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. And for all the petitions that we hold in the silence of our hearts.
Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we ask you to hear and answer the prayers we have brought before you, and we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of consolation and praise, which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr Stanislaus, that it may lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the hosts of angels cry out and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room.
Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, conceal me. Do not permit me to be parted from you. From the evil foe, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come to you to praise you with all your saints forever and ever, amen. O sacred banquet in which Christ is received, the memory of his passion is renewed. The mind is filled with grace and a pledge of future glory is given to us. Let us pray. We have received your heavenly gifts, rejoicing at this feast day, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that we who in this divine banquet proclaim the death of your Son may merit to be partakers with the holy martyrs in his resurrection and his glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Have a blessed day. Thank you.